Hello friends, welcome to Simplified Biology. Today's topic is sex link inheritance. Sex link inheritance was discovered by Morgan. T.H. Morgan, while working on eye color in Drosophila, found that the gene for eye color in Drosophila did not follow the Mendelian pattern of inheritance. Now this was due to the gene being present on the X chromosome. All genes present on the X chromosomes are known as sex link genes and those characters are sex link characters. Study of inheritance of those characters is known as sex link inheritance. Example of sex link inheritance is hemophilia. Hemophilia occurs due to a sex link recessive T. It is also referred as bleeder's disease as clotting of blood does not occur even to minor injury. It is also referred as royal disease as it was discovered from the royal family that is Queen Elizabeth family. Hemophilia is of two types, Hemophilia A and Hemophilia B. Hemophilia B is also known as Christmas disease. Hemophilia A occurs due to absence of factor 8, while Hemophilia B occurs due to absence of factor 9. And the patient even dies due to blood loss. Now, as it is a sex link recessive gene, the female becomes hemophilic only in homozygous condition means when both the X chromosome have the recessive gene and this condition is lethal. When the gene is present in heterozygous condition they are referred as carrier females while male has a single X chromosome so the gene present in it will express itself. A single Hemophilic gene causes hemophilia in males. Next example of hemophilia is color blindness. This too occurs due to a sex link recessive gene. Now the person is unable to distinguish between red and green color. Same in this case too. It expresses itself in female only when it is in the homozygous condition as it is a recessive gene while a single gene present in male expresses itself and color blindness is more common in males. Other examples of sex link inheritance are night blindness and Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. Now, these persons are unable to produce dystrophin in skeletal muscles due to which calcium is not released in the muscle cells. These two also occur due to a sex-linked recessive gene. Now come to the different combination of crosses that can be seen in case of sex-linked inheritance. First, a normal female marries a colorblind male. Now this normal female will produce gametes all of the same type while the colorblind male will produce two types of gametes one having this colorblind gene and the other having the y chromosome in this case all the offsprings produced will be normal but the female have the gene in heterozygous condition and they are referred as carrier females in the second cross carrier females are ma are crossed with normal male. The carrier female will produce two types of gametes, one having the normal X chromosome and the other having the color blind gene in it. While male will produce two types of gametes, one having the normal X chromosome and the other one having the Y chromosome. Now in this case, 25% of the sons are color blind. 25% of the offsprings are color blind. 
while 25% of the females are carriers. Now in the third cross, a colorblind female marries a normal male. The female colorblind will produce one type of gametes all having the colorblind gene while male will produce two types of gametes one having the normal X chromosome and the other one having the Y chromosome. In this case you will find that all the sons are colorblind while all the daughters are carriers. And last cross where the colorblind female marries or is crossed with the colorblind male. The female will produce one type of gamete all having the colorblind gene. Male will produce two types of gamete, one having the colorblind gene and the other having the Y chromosome. In this case, all the offsprings produced will be colorblind. Now, sex-linked genes show crisscross inheritance. Now, let's do a cross where a normal female marries a colorblind male. The females producing normal type of gametes have an X chromosome, while the male producing two types of gametes, one having the colorblind gene and the other having the Y chromosome. Now, in this case, all the offsprings are normal. But the females or the daughters are colorblind, sorry, carriers. Now, this carrier female or the daughter, when marries a normal male, the carrier female will produce two types of gametes one having the normal X chromosome and the other having the carrier gene in it. While the male will produce two types of gamete, one having the normal X chromosome and the other with the Y chromosome. Now, in this case, you will see that 50% of the offsprings produced are colorblind, or you can say 25% of the grandsons are colorblind. Means the gene from the father has been transferred to the grandson through the daughters. Such type of inheritance is known as crisscross inheritance. Means the gene from the male has been transferred to the male through the female. Father transfers its gene to the grandson through the daughters. This is known as crisscross inheritance. Now, gene on X chromosomes express themselves in the male as the male are hemizygous, means they have a single X chromosome without an homologue. So, all gene present in it will express themselves. Now, the father never transfers its X chromosome to its son, but it transfers it to the daughter while it transfers the Y chromosome to the son. Means the son or the males always get the X chromosome from the mother. Since male have a single X chromosome, they are never carriers. They always have the disease. Females have two X chromosomes. One they get from the mother and the other one they get from the father. Now at the end, let's see how to identify a sex-linked gene in a pedigree. A sex-linked gene in a pedigree can be identified by its crisscross inheritance pattern. If a gene shows crisscross inheritance means it is a sex-linked gene means the gene from the father is being transferred to the grandson through the daughters. Otherwise, the gene is an autosomal gene. Sex-linked dominant genes express themselves in both male and female, while a sex-linked recessive gene 
is common in males. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you.